Your Majesties, three years ago at May Crown, I entered into an apprentice contract with Phelan Tallis Meter. He was charged with expanding and deepening his knowledge and skills in the arts and sciences and teaching others. He was to represent me well in his endeavors and give fully one-third of his craft production for me to use as I will. <laughs> um, not only has he met these conditions, he has extremely exceeded them uh, with the beauty of his work, the excellence of his research and his knowledge of uh, the glass and how it works when it is uh, when it is made into lamp work beads. Uh, he definitely is an expert that people can come to if they have uh, had difficulty with beads. And he has done a magnificent, huge amount of teaching. Many people ha are doing uh, lamp work beads in the kingdom as a result of his assistance and teaching both informally and informal classes. So we bring witnesses to the uh, contract as well. I am Baron Steercar Yarlskull, Knight of the Realm, and I bear witness to Morgana's contract with Phelan, and it was a good one. And it is how, <laughs> and it is exactly how she said it. And should any dispute it, I will fight for her at the altar. <laughs> Hi, there, Ms. Um I was honored with being, uh, of having him my very first monk as Baroness, my artisan. And then he asked me if he could become a apprentice to Morgan, and I was happy to do so. So I've seen him from the beginning presenting his stuff, teaching everybody, and sharing his gifts with everyone. Many of us have sight tokens of the seeds. Uh, many of us have um, nice auctions where his donations have been um, used to help supplement the public funds. And I'm just proud to be part of that. I am the Honorable Lady Sophia Francesca Bruno. And I am honored and proud to say that he was my very first student in the SCA. <laughs> and I was very lucky and honored to witness his apprenticeship, apprenticeship contract with Mrs. Morgana, and I concur with how it happened. Uh, I, I wanted to add one more thing, and I need to ask you a question. Uh, Phelan, how many beads would you say that you have made to the kingdom, roughly? Uh, we actually did an accounting of that, and it was right at 4,700 beads. <laughs>
but know that this is this was a symbol of my artisanship. This is a symbol of my heart, and you will always, always be my bearings. I'm Ben Yorla Dayden, and I stand before you today as a representative of the members of the Orders of the Ladies of the Rose and the Valorous Estate, which it is my extreme honor to do. A family, I would say this. His qualities as a craftsman are well known, but for me, what inspires me most is his joy. The joy that he shows for his craft the joy that he shows in service to this kingdom, his joyful love for his family and for his friends and for all of us here. This, I think, is his true gift to our society. Your Majesties, allow me humbly to commend you on an outstanding and 
inspired choice, as I'm sure that he will function beautifully <coughs> and graciously as a parent of his own. Thank you. Please do not be on the seat of colleagues as a member of the Order of People. I am Countess Inga the Unfettered, and it has been my honor to know Phelan as long as I can remember. And while as an artisan, I have deep regard for his abilities and his craftsmanship, what has truly awed me always was his commitment to service, to his service to his world, to his service to his barony, but his service to one here. As the Majesty has so wisely said, one here truly shines less brightly if this man is not calling his place home. Your service is so selfless and of such incredible quality. And he serves in so many ways. We know his last work, but he serves in a thousand other ways behind the scenes that makes this kingdom truly run well. As a member of the Order of the Pelican, I commend your Majesty on your choice, for he is truly your first in every way. As a member of the Order of Chivalry, and this is night, I could never, ever speak it as beautifully and eloquently as these ladies of the Rose have done so before me. But I would like to point out that many men walk many paths, but I have seen no man walk those paths as well as Phelan Tullis Peter does. He is a peer. As a knight, I commend him for his prowess, for his chivalry, for his honor, and for his nobility.